There we go guys, Hoops here with another video. Uh, today I am going to do another smoke video. So I um, uh, dubbed one just before with my chicken. And if you want to see that one, there will be a link up here. And uh, yeah, this one is my little bit of a spin on uh, deviled eggs. So my hens have uh, provided me with uh, seven eggs today. So I'm going to do a, a bit of a deviled, deviled egg, but we're going to do it differently to what most people would do them. And we're actually going to set them aside in the smoker so I'll uh, show you the, how I make them the ingredients that I use to stuff them and then we'll, I'll show you the smoker as well how I'm gonna do them and yeah we'll get back to you straight after the intro <laughs> First things first, we're going to get a, a pot of water on the stove, get it to boil. Once this boils, we're going to uh, lower it down, drop it down until it stops bubbling. Radio. Now the water is boiling and it's ten times hotter than the sun. We're just going to uh, turn it down, turn down the low, and once these uh, bubbles stop, we'll uh, submerse our eggs. And then we'll put a timer on for 14 minutes and then they'll be done. Alrighty, there we go. We're just gonna lower in these eggs one at a time. Right, we're just gonna start the timer, 14 minutes. Right, there we go, it's been 14 minutes now, and uh, these eggs are done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them straight away into some ice water that I've put into the fri uh, freezer, and that'll uh, slowly cool them down, because uh, otherwise I'll just keep continuing to cook. And when they do that, the actual egg yolk inside gets that, I don't know if you've ever noticed it, but it gets that green little tinge around the outside. This should prevent that from happening. Just gonna scoop them out gently, and uh, yeah, you see that one's already cracked when it was in there, but it's still good. I lost my little egg scooper, so I'm just using some tongs. It's not the best thing to use, but it's working. Right there we go. We we'll turn it off, and we'll just um, leave this out on the bench and let these cool down uh, by themselves. Okay, now these are at room temperature. What we're going to do is just uh, deshell them, give them a bit of a clean, and cut them in half. Oakley doakley, so now all we're going to do is remove the egg yolk, so you can easily do these Sort of just peel them out like that, usually they'll fall out And uh, you can just scoop out the yolk Like that And then we're going to do that with all, all of these eggs all right, so now we've got the eggs removed. What we want to do is just give these a bit of a squash up. Uh, we want this sort of thick enough, sort of a bit like grains of dirt sort of uh, consistency. All right, and then we'll get on to the next step and I'll show you that as well. 
Okay, so next step is we're going to add some mayonnaise. So we want um, about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Any kind of mayonnaise will do. You can get the egg mayonnaise actually, it's uh, a lot creamier and uh, it's pretty nice. Which is this one. That's the game. And the thing for Woolies, that's where we get ours. Wo uh, Woolies or Coles, I'm not sponsored by them, but it's who we have. So, yep, it's those. And we want to use one, uh, one teaspoon of mustard. Dijon mustard or preferable to use Dijon. Okay, and now, now the special little recipe, secret recipe, which was a secret until now, I just shed it, but we want to use one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Yep, and now we're just going to season it with some salt and pepper. Alright, now we're just going to fold this through, mix it through with a fork, and then we're just going to spoon it into these little cups of the eggshells, and then I'll take you outside and we'll fire up the smoker, and I'll show you what we do from there. Shotgun. <laughs> right. Just gonna fill up this little doodad that I made. Just so it with some nice maple pellets and I'll pick all these ones up and put them in there too, but for now I'll just show you filling them up. I have actually made a bit of an adjustment to this one now. As you can see, this uh, piece of copper pipe runs out here. So before I was getting this, it was uh, melting. So I didn't want that in my food, but there you go. There's the pellets. And uh, I'm just gonna light a little fire under here, get it smoldering, and then we'll uh, show you when she's getting ready. Alrighty, and we'll fire it up in the normal way I light most of my fires, just the fire still. I'm going to chuck this actually under there for now, but what I'm going to do is light this little candle as well. And then we'll be placing this candle under, under that in a minute. Once it snuffs out a bit, I'll uh, chuck the candle in there just to get these um, pellets lit. Once they're lit, uh, she's all good. Alrighty, well, as you can see, it's producing some good smoke. So I'm going to go and chuck the eggs in and then uh, we'll get back to it shortly. Alrighty, here we go. So we'll just place these little bad boys on the rack. Yeah, I'll just do the rest and then, uh, yeah, we'll leave them smoke for a while. Alright, it's been a few hours and that's as far as I'm going to go with these. But uh, as you can see there, 
they look pretty nice they could have done with a lot longer and a bit more penetration of the uh, smoke but they look good and as you've noticed there are a couple missing because we did try a couple of them and they tasted absolutely beautiful so we'll uh, cross over in a minute and we'll show you guys um, us doing a bit of a taste test and here uh, yeah, we'll give you our final opinion I'll get the kids out and Jackie and uh, we'll sit around the fire and have a bit of a treat Alrighty guys, we're here, we're going to do the taste test on the uh, yeah. the deviled, deviled eggs, the smoked deviled eggs so I'll uh, pass them around and I want your honest opinion don't and do don't tell me they taste like dirt because <laughs> they don't Alright, cool, grab one, um, choose on. one Any, many, money Any, many, money Any, many, money, go Yeah. Well they look great yeah, they, they've got a sense of really smokiness. Good. They smell good. You can see, yeah, do they? Mm, yum, you can actually smell the smoke. Like the smoke sort of flavour in them. These would be really good for a barbecue or something, mm. wouldn't they? Yep. Actually, do not smell barbecue. Oh, they do. Like a, something like a dish that you take. Right, so we're going to try them. I can, first thing I can smell is the apple cider vinegar and the paprika and the honey. I mean, the sugar and sprinkle that I made on the top. So let's try it. Oh, really good. Mm. And the taste is the yeah the paprika and the smoked mm. and, and the mayo. You mm. can taste all of it, just mm. all it just blends in really well together. Yeah. There's mayo. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Josh? Okay. I mean, mm. it's like it's probably definitely like way way better than you know, meat egg. Don't worry, yeah. Mm. But at the same time, it doesn't smell great. You don't like the, the smoke smell? Mm. I do. I do. Mm. It's actually really nice. What about you, Kai? What do you think? Yeah, I like it. It's good. Tasty. Mm. It's right. sort of like it. You can both have one more each. Cut. Grab that in one. Try to scrap that little one. Yeah, one more. Oh, well, even better. Me and Mum will have these ones. No, I do. Yeah, this one. Put them in one. Oh. They are really good. Mm. Like, they're not too bad. Yeah. Mm. But, like, yeah. But definitely a great dish to have at a barbecue, like, yeah. in the center of the table or something, you know, just for that extra, just that extra kick. And mm. also, like, an extra fancy. I think it'll be really cool. good with, um, well, mm. chili powder. Like I said yeah, on, the, on the video when I was doing the actual smoking, um, I probably could have left it smoking for a little bit longer, maybe another yeah. hour or so, and it would have um, really penetrated into the egg, but I can taste it, and you agree, you can yeah. taste it in yeah, the egg. I think it also yeah. tastes really good with uh, chili, um, chili pepper or chili powder. Well, yeah. that's the next one I want to try. I'll do this video again maybe one day with a little bit of cayenne pepper on the top, and it's meant to give it that bit of spice, but because it was you kids, I didn't want to do much spice, so I left it pretty pretty simple. I like his chili. Yeah. Same. But anyway, no. you can tell the difference if you can see that. You can I see the nice yellow on the inside, but then when you look at the crust, it's got like a brownie tinge to it, which is the smoke penetration, and same as the egg itself, so. Yeah. I reckon that was brilliant. Anyway, guys, that's the video. I'm uh, I'm pretty sure the video before this one is the um, smoking the uh, chicken Cole's bought uh, store bought chicken breast um, where I showed you how to do a really nice uh, dry rub so look out for that video and um, Wait, hit all... the subscribe button we've just uh, crossed over to a thousand thousand uh, subscribers now which is pretty pretty awesome and I'm really stoked and I uh, really appreciate everyone that's um, subscribed to my it? channel and um, yeah we'll see you guys on the next one peace out stay Could moist